So God has kept this prophecy a dismal swamp. But it's incredibly easy. God kept that swamp dismal because it was never to be understood until the mystery of God uh, cleared up and things were made plain. All through the book in verse 7 it says Christ will come quickly. Well, he's at the right hand of power beside the Father. And behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me to give every man, every man according as his work shall be. Now that has no real meaning or value to you if you don't understand what, <laughs> again, we'll call the dismal swamp. That there's a seven-year kingdom. First, the seven years must start and end on Abib 1. That goes without saying now. You already know many proofs. <clears throat> we have only about 36 plus days. Uh, the dismal swamp is, we'll say, is, is clearing up. Uh, I've, I use that now all the time. And everybody just, boy, you're not kidding. It has been a dismal swamp. It's something that Mr. Armstrong was never allowed to sort through. Comes on them as travail on a woman with child and they shall not escape. But you can think, well, maybe they're coming back for the next kingdom because of things we've understood that the dismal swamp clears up. Are, are we, Mr. Packo, is there any way we're seeing this wrong? I'm going to literally, my job today is to overwhelm you, overwhelm you with verses about this, where you'd literally have to say, I can't reject that. You would have to reject the Bible. We know what the dismal swamp means, except that all the masters and the scholars disagree. And that's why Christ said, if you don't get this kingdom, how are you going to understand anything to the disciples? And we didn't. It was a dismal swamp. Not anymore. But it was. They never saw the kingdom to Israel. This is because God wasn't ready to reveal the solution in Mr. Armstrong's time to the dismal swamp. I love the name. Daniel flows beautifully, but it, it has some unbelievably interesting things in it that no one ever saw. And God help all of us to see it, and God help me to teach it to you in a clear and concise way so that all the mystery of Daniel and Revelation, which ties all the theologians and all the prophets and prophecy experts in knots, and, uh, and they, they helps them make the dismal swamp a lot more dismal and a lot bigger swamp. So we're going to clear all of it out. We're learning a lot about the seven years. My job is to make the seven years plain. The day of the Lord follows it. It was a dismal swamp, but I think we'd all agree it's clearing up. We've got this right. No, he doubts this. It's the dismal swamp that we have to clear up. And I can say, after a few more minutes have passed, we're making good progress. So we put the new heavens and new earth at the end of the millennium, the only place we could put it, and we put the hundred years after that, the only place you can put it if you don't see through the dismal swamp.